Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about C program to print prime numbers between 1 to n. Now I am going to discuss about the detailed description of this program. So first two line is has include stdio.h. So this is a header file, a standard input output. So this is used to because at here I am using printer function and a scanner function. So these two function definition written inside of has include stdio.h. And after has include conio.h console input output header file. So the definition of clear screen and get CS function written inside of conio.h. Now void main. So if you compile the code, then first control comes to uh, main function. After that, that will go inside. There I, I have taken three or uh, four integer type variable. First i or uh, second or uh, j and next uh, n and after flag here after clear screen or function I used to terminate to a previous output screen so printer function is used to uh, display whatever in double quotes into output screen a scanner function so I do a printer function print a uh, prime number between 1 to O. 10. So I'm going to give for uh, 10 at here. So that will go to n. 
so add your percent day because so n is the integer and m percent and to some particular location that will store the value of n now here after that will go down for i start from 2 Check the condition 2 less than equal to n so n value is not 10 2 less than 10 condition true then that will go inside flag on value 1 and that will after next go to inner for loop so for j start from 2 and add here uh, j value is 2 i by 2 so i value is not 2 uh, so add here j 2 less than equal to 2 by 2 so 2 less than equal to 2 by 2 means 1 so 2 less than equal to 1 or oh, that's not true then that will not go inside uh, so control comes to this point if flag double equal to 1 flag value is now 1 so that will go inside percent d because i is a uh, integer uh, slash n to print uh, value in new line so in new line that will print i value so i value 2 that will print now from here that will out from if and again that will go and increase the value of i so i become 2 to 3 check the condition 3 less than 10 condition 2 then that will go inside of for loop flag o1 after o for j start from 2 and check the condition 2 or less than or 3 by 2 3 by 2 1 so or j value is now 3 or oh, sorry j value is 2 and i value 3 3 by 2 1 so 2 less than equal to 1 that's so uh, not true then that will not go again inside again control comes to this point if flag double equal to 1 flag value is now 1 then that will go inside print the value of i so i value is 3 that will print again that will out from if and after that will go and increase the value of i so i become 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to 10 that's true then that will go inside flag 1 and for j start from 2 so 2 less than equal to 4 by 2 means 2 so 2 less than equal to 2 condition true then that will go inside so here, here that will check i value is 4 and or j value 2 4 by 2 modulus or 0 that's true then that will go inside and at here flag or become 0 and that will break after that will out from if condition and at here or inner fold or will continue on so at here that will increase the value of j so j become 2 to 3 check the condition or uh, j value is now 3 and uh, i by 2 means uh, 4 by 2 4 by 2 means uh, 2 so 3 less than equal to 2 condition not true then that will go uh, there if flag double equal to 1 so flag value is now 0 so that will not go inside again uh, that will out of uh, that will not go inside so at here go and that will increase the value of i uh, so i become 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 10 that's true then that will go inside flag become 1 and for j start from 2 again and uh, check the condition 2 less than equal to 5 by 2 means or uh, 2 so at here or uh, 2 less than equal to 2 condition true then that will go inside at here or uh, check i mod j so i value is now 5 5 uh, by 2 5 mod 2 or uh, not equal to 0 so that will not go inside again or uh, that will go and increase the value of j so at here or uh, check the condition uh, j value is now 3 3 less than equal to i by 2 i value is now 5 by 2 so 3 less than equal to 5 by 2 means 2 uh, that's not true then that will go not go inside of inner for loop control comes to this point if flag equal to 1 flag value is now 1 
So whatever the i value that will print. So so this time that will print five. Uh, after printing that will out from if condition and check increase the value of i. So now i becomes six. Check the condition six less than equal to ten. That's true. Then that will go inside flag become one. And uh, j start from two. So again j start from two. And check the condition two less than equal to i by two means i by i value is now six by two. So two less than equal to three. That's true. Then that will go inside. If i mod or j i value is now six. J j value is two. So six mod or two equal to zero. That's true. Then that will go inside. And our flag become zero. And at here that will break. The if condition again that will go and increase the value of or j. So j become two to three. Or check the condition or uh, three three less than equal to i by two i value is now or uh, six six by two three less than three condition true then that will go inside. At here again or uh, i value is now six. And uh, j value is or uh, three six by three mod equal to zero then that will go inside and uh, flag equal to uh, zero and break the condition again that will increase the value of j. So j value is now become four. Uh, so so j become four. And at here that will check the condition j is uh, 4 and uh, i value is now 6. So at here 6 by 2 means 3. So 4 less than equal to 3. Uh, that's not true. Then that will not go inside. At here come the uh, if flag double equal to 1. So flag value is 0. So that will not go inside. Uh, and again that will uh, increase the value of i. So i become 7. And flag become flag is now one again uh, for j equal to two j again start from two or uh, check the condition or uh, j less than equal to i by two means seven by two three so two less than equal to three condition true then that will go inside if i if i uh, mod or uh, j so i value is now uh, seven. And j value is now uh, 2. So 7 mod 2 not equal to 0, then that will not go inside. And again, that will increase the value of j. So j become 3. Again, uh, j value is now 3. And i by 2. So 7 by 2 or uh, 3 also. So 3 equal to 3. Condition 2, then that will go inside. If i i value is now 7 and uh, j value is now 3, 7 by 3 not equal to 0, then that will not go again inside. Again, that will increase the value of j. So j become 4. Check the condition j is now 4 and i by 3. i by 2 means 7 by 2, 3. So 4 less than equal to uh, 3, that's not true. Then that will go out of uh, inner for loop. At your check the condition if flag on double equal to 1 so flag value is now 1 so that will print i value so i value is now 7 that will print again uh, that will increase the value of from here that will alt and increase the value of i so i become 8 now check the condition 8 less than equal to 10 condition true then that will go again inside flag now 1 or j start from 2 again Check the condition j is 2, i value is now 8. So 8 by 2, 4. So 2 less than equal to or 4 condition or 2, then that will go inside. At here, or 4, 8, i value is now 8, j value is 2. So 8 by mod 2 equal to 0, condition 2. So at here, flag become 0, break. And again, that will increase the value of j. So j become 3. Uh, check the condition 3 less than equal to i by 2 means 8 by uh, 2 4 so 3 less than equal to 4 condition or uh, 2 then that will go inside at here if i mod j i value is now 8 8 mod 3 
not equal to 0 then that will not go inside again that will increase the value of i so oh sorry j so j become 4 check the condition or oh, j value is now 4 4 less than equal to uh, i by 2 means 8 by 2 4 4 less than equal to 4 condition 2 then that will go inside i i value is now 8 and j value is 4 so 8 by 4 mod equal to 0 then that will go inside and like uh, 0 still so after a break again that will increase the value of j so j become 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 4 that's not true then that will not go inside that will out from of inner for loop at here check the condition if flag double equal to 1 flag value is now uh, 0 at here so that will not go inside and again uh, upper for loop continues so this term i value become 9 check the condition 9 or uh, less than equal to 10 condition true flag become 1 again and for j start from 2 so j value again start from 2 and add here or uh, 2 less than equal to i by 2 so i by 2 means 2 or uh, 9 by 2 9 by 2 means 4 so, so 2 less than equal to 4 condition or 2 then that will go inside if i mod j i value is now 9 j value is now 2 so 9 by 2 not equal to 0 then that will not go inside again that will increase the value of or uh, j so j this time become or uh, 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 4 condition true then that will go inside if i value is now 9 9 mod or uh, 3 equal to 0 then that will go inside flag become 0 flag become 0 and that will, uh, that will break if again that will go and increase the value of j j become 4 or uh, check the condition for less than equal to uh, 4 condition 2 then that will go inside if i mod j i value is now 9 and uh, 4 9 mod 4 not equal to 0 then that will not go inside increase the value of j and uh, j become 5 uh, 5 uh, j become 5 condition uh, will check 5 less than equal to 4 condition not true then that will go out of inner for loop if flag double equal to 1 check flag value is now 0 so that will not go inside and print the value of i again that will increase the value of i 9 to 10 and uh, the same process will continue check the condition 10 less than equal to 10 then that will go inside and next time i will become 11 so at here i value become 11 so check the condition 11 less than equal to uh, 10 uh, that's not true then that will out from upper for loop and control comes to get ch uh, function so here that will take uh, one input from the keyboard and terminate the output screen so this is the dry run method of this program so i hope guys you understand so leave your available or feedback about this video now it's done thanks for watching see you next week